Eating Sailor's Delight and the Thomas Coram, part of the cocktail contest. Adam's Bitters, we're breaking them down. This is the mm, fifth? Correct. Fifth competition. AKA. Oh. Somebody's birthday's in the chat room falls on Cinco de Mayo. But Cinco they de Mayo. Can't buy alcohol on Sunday. <laughs> oh, buy it on, uh, buy it on, on Saturday. Saturday. Drink it on Sunday. 21st and, birthday. And get to have somebody else. Oh. I see the problem. The next day. <laughs> have somebody buy it for you and then drink it legally the day after. Yeah. Happy Cinco de Mayo! It's now way past that, but it's I forgot the all the rest of the week. Other. Just go to the next state yeah. where you can buy it. Right. Um, so the Sailor's Delight submitted by Alaska. Yeah. Hawaii. Yeah. If you're in Mass, you can just drive. I think in Alaska it's probably die. free for all. It's like, like, who cares? It's Alaska. Just do whatever yeah. you guys want. Yeah. That's where they. I mean, Discovery Channel's up there. You should be able to drink. Do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Duck farts. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Rip, rip. Sailor's Delight. One and a half ounces of Kraken rum. Oh, I'm calling an audible. I'm using Kraken rum with a combination of 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 Sailor Jerry's because I just I ran out of Kraken rum. So I'm gonna amp it up with sailors. I don't want to do that, but I didn't realize that we were that low on, on the Kraken. On the Kraken. So I, 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 I that, that makes me angry, so I'll have to buy some more. And you uh, were just at the liquor store today. No, I was just there. That's what makes me angry. I kind of forgot to why I was angry. I was there. I was buying stuff. Uh -huh. So we're going to do an ounce and a half of Kraken, an ounce of Red Stag whiskey. I think that's pretty much going to dominate anyway. This is Red Stag? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It looked like white from the inside. Um, four dashes of Aphrodite bitters. Mm -hmm. We roll deep. We've got the different bitters this time. We've used all the other ones. This is the first time we've used Aphrodite's. Aphrodite's has some like cocoa nibs and it's, it's coffee. We used it in something else. Arabic coffee. Yeah, I've used it. I just have, we haven't used it today. Yeah, we did. I didn't. Maybe you did? I did, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and fresh squeezed orange slice. I got that right here. Oh, it's juicy. We've got two dashes of grenadine. That's over there someplace. We get grenadine. Uh, and then Doug is going to create the Thomas Coram. This is submitted by Curtis McMillan. We know Curtis has been on the show a few times. Um, yeah, and luckily he's not here because I wouldn't want him to be tasting the drink that he created. That one's an ounce and a half of Sailor Jerry's, part of his brand, portfolio. Three ounces of cranberry juice because he... That's why he used it. He hates Doug. Oh, yeah, no doubt. That's why he used it. Um, cranberry juice, dash of grenadine, and a dash Curtis of Spanish... Doug? Spanish beers. He must. I mean, it's good cranberry juice. I mean, he knew that I was going to have that. Apparently, yeah. right. We're gonna. He's gonna <laughs> shake and strain his. Put it in a coupe glass. Hey, where are our coupe glasses anyway? Right in around? front of you. Oh, look at that right here. Have another drink. Turns out that I found these at AwesomeDrinks.com. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't. You found them right there. Yeah, well, AwesomeDrinks.com's here. So, so there we go. You ready to make this? You have to shake and strain, Holmes. I have to do another stir. I've stirred all week. I don't know how I keep giving you the shake and strain ones. Yeah, me either. So I, I've measured this ahead of time. That's unfortunately a half ounce. But I want to make sure to represent the crack and flavor. Mm -hmm. And then, as paying homage to Curtis, that was not good. I'm going to use a little bit of the Sailor. Which does make sense, since Sailor's Delight should actually be using Sailor, since it's in the name. And then a little of the Red Stag. That's a lot of cranberry juice. I'm feeling like we're, yeah. I feel like Curtis is trying to get himself disqualified. It's grapefruit, not cranberry. Did I say cranberry? Yep. That's weird, because it's not even red. <laughs> Ford. <laughs> I heard grapefruit. He said cranberry. Did he? I, I heard grapefruit too, but I obviously heard wrong since well, it was my brain. Must be a guy thing. Must be. Yeah, we must all hear this. If you have a penis, you hear <laughs> cranberry from yeah, grapefruit. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's really that's naughty. That's problem. Naughty that they her. just insulted us like that, and we just stood here and took it like men. No, like you're sitting. She's slightly. <laughs> oh, she's nude on the inside. Provocatively. Curtis, good job. Yeah. Picking that portfolio. Uh, it's I, the boob shot that Derek wants. It's been 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. <laughs> you're gonna do that all oh. day long with the top on, my friend. <laughs> Sorry. Dash. Thoroughly distracted. <laughs> the boob shot. No, by all the chit chat. <laughs> we got dissed. We didn't get a chance to rebuttal. Whatever. We got. Dshomer um, at what? Dshomer at everydaydrinkers.com. Why? Just to be sure. Oh, oh yeah, but yeah. But it got censored, so I just had to say. <laughs> Yo, yeah. It's under your name, anyways. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, I forgot to chill these. I guess I'll throw some ice in them. Just for knocks and jiggles. 
You want some ice in your, uh, you want some ice in that? The mace. Mason shaker. Dude, these are one of, dude. These. We sell these things like mad. Yeah, alright then. Someone just bought four of them. Yeah, somebody bought four of them. That's, that's a record. Wow. Like, what are you gonna do with four mason shakers? But I'm not gonna complain. Just make four drinks? <laughs> At a time? At a time. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm thinking birthday presents. You got a lot of friends. Yeah. To drink. Also for this. That was my shing sound. I heard it. I'm gonna need to garnish that in a second. Or not garnish it. Uh, rim the edge. Give it a good rimming. <laughs> it's been 15 minutes. I gotta say something. Did you, didn't you already say boob? You forgot the bitters, Doug? I was about to put them in, and then you were like, oh, do you need ice? And I was like, mm hmm. And then that was enough to do that. Yeah, and then I started shaking, and then I was like, wait a second. Why am I shaking? I'm not cold. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Now we're gonna rim the edge of this with some lemon. Because they say so in the instructions. Ah! You just wet me. Here. Mm. Is that like pouring salt over your shoulder? Mm -hmm. No. No. Garnish. We're gonna wait, wait, garnish. Wait, wait. Curtis is gonna lose. Sorry, Curtis. Orange peel garnish. Orange peel. We ah! just emailed you it. Somebody email me, all right. Good. The United French Connection. The United French Connection. Got it. Nice. We'll add that into our lineup for next week. Yay. I'm going to express some of the glands here. Ooh, I love when they pop. Oh, yeah, pop for me. There you go. Really? Do you like it when, like, zits pop? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, Steve. I hate those things. Yeah. I get rid of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you like watching it? Anyway, watching it? Why don't I like, you like taste those porn? drinks? No. No, no, I, I guess I don't. <laughs> I, I don't know. Wow, that's got a lot of cranberry juice. Um, that's not cranberry juice. <laughs> I said at that time, did you hear grapefruit? Because I said cranberry. You did say cranberry. Right. <laughs> oh, it smells awesome. This smells like citrus. Sailor's delight. Oh, <gasps> no scurvy. Color wise, I like my copper color, orange copper. Mm, you have your grapefruit. yeah, yours yours is dangerous looking. Or cranberry. <laughs> or cranberry. Oh, oh. Yeah. I need a cherry in here. Cherry garnish. Oh, yeah. The bitters make grapefruit taste better? Oh, that's Can the they test. Can they do that? It, actually, the bitters come through, which is interesting. Uh -oh. No, this is better than I thought that it would be. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Sailors are going to love this. It's got rum, no scurvy. Mm. Mm. Huh. I think we're going to have entirely different drinks. Yep. What do you get? Citrus? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like a Grand Marnier. Yeah! Actually, that's a good one. This doesn't have too much of a nose. No. Uh, a little sour grapefruit. Mm. So different than what I just had in my mouth. Yeah. I'm gonna need a second sip of that one. Huh. Yeah, that's a kick in the pants. You know, the switch. Yeah. Yeah. Y you went the right way, though. Uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I was like, oh. But you know what, though? You know how, for me, I don't know, maybe it's not for everybody, but... Grapefruit traditionally leaves like I get dryness down here, like mm -hmm. way down in the throat, not not just the tongue, but like mm -hmm. down here. This doesn't do that that bad. Hmm. Like I'm not getting a lot of that low end dryness on the back of my tongue muscle. Mm. <laughs> I'd already used tongue muscle before, so I wanted to work that in there. You know? Okay, so this one. This, I think, gives me a growing appreciation for grapefruit. I just stuck my hand in cherries. Hmm. Um, How'd that go? 
Yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> the this one makes grapefruit better. Yeah. Like I, I can actually drink that and go, oh, I taste grapefruit. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Which is uh, kind of scary because I, I, we did grapefruit shots for the beginning of the, sh- of the week, and that was interesting. <laughs> and at the same time, I, the thing is, I end up with a lot of grapefruit at the end of this, right? Because you can't buy the first person who makes a grapefruit that's in a small container. I'll buy. Because I can't get grapefruit in without like buying these big containers, and Can't I don't you get, like, like a can of like. Goya? Where? Where do you get this? Like Goya doesn't Where? Goya make the? Oh, that would be in the Spanish aisle. Yeah, Spanish Goya. aisle. Porto Albano, por favor. I don't know where that is. I, I mean, yeah, I know where the thing. Spanish aisle is, but I don't know if they have any uh, grapefruit. I know they have like some some other Goya ones. There. My Coconut. mission for you, much like the. Uh, the I got meeting minutes to take. Blanco. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Blanco, what? Yeah, just like, you know, oh, the, the, yeah. What about El Gato it? is Blanco. Yeah. White. <laughs> I will find a oh, small yeah. can of grapefruit. I'd lo- well, you need a couple of them. Cause what I want is small cans that I can use when I need it for a cocktail. Right. But then I don't waste the whole bottle. Right. Oh, that's you. I'm like, why is somebody sewing? Um, they're sorry. The, what I do is Sorry. I was adding this to, to to energy drinks. I've been adding grapefruit juice to everything just to try and get the grapefruit juice to be consumed without me hating it. Mm-hmm. I could do that with this. The problem is I would get destroyed. Hey. So was He's Curtis disqualified be, from being a judge because of his job or was he just busy? Um, well... Realistically, I, I I'd like him to be a judge, but Curtis is really busy now. He has a, a like a not want to say a real job, but a job in that industry. And I I think he wants to come this week or next week. I don't really remember which. Not this week it's yeah. already happened. Oh, I know, but I don't know if I, I can't remember the dates. But he he wants to come back, but he's gonna bring sponsors with him so that he can come on the show and we just use his brands through the mm-hmm. show, which is fine. I have all kinds of brands. Mm-hmm. Care if I have to use his for a week? Whatever. Um, so that's how we'll bring him in, but he wouldn't be able to come in just... The, the fear with this is he if he came in and there was a cocktail that didn't have something that his brand provided, that would be a problem. He mm-hmm. wouldn't be able to be there for that. Just sit out. So, Sideline and put him yeah. in the corner. But on the sa- at the same token, I wanted to make sure that he can't judge his own drink. Right. That would be silly. Right. So which one do you like? So which one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Curtis was taken out. Yeah, I'm probably gonna agree with you on that one. Yeah. Um. And not not because of the grapefruits. Well, a little bit of the grapefruit, but that's not to take away from this because that's a really good rendition of a grapefruit-based drink. Mm-hmm. It doesn't bring and and oddly enough, a lot of the grapefruit-based drinks we've done, which are more Polynesian-style drinks, they don't even have that much grapefruit, but they still bring it. Mm-hmm. I think it's because they're overly sweet mm-hmm. and it's hard to get rid of that grapefruit. With this, it gets the balance plus the bitters, and it it curves the the sour bite. This has just got like more of a a dark cherry citrus. It's an interesting, exactly what you just said. It has a but it's not really too sweet. nice dark cherry citrus, not too sweet, palatable cocktail, and and not too potent. Yet you still get the base spirit in there. You still get the you know okay. I've got some some dark rum in here. I get more of a dark rum than a spice per se, but I think that's because the cherries in there kind of distracting, and you get the bitters on t- on top of that. And the you know the, these bitters bring a very big complexity from from the from the coffee uh, to a chocolate and all mm-hmm. these little nuances that w- then you get your cherries and everything that kind of play in. So I think that's and the bouquets. Yeah, it has this one didn't have very so much of nice. an aroma um, compared to that. I mean, this tastes smells like grapefruit. Definitely an interesting, uh, interesting take. So, again, I like this one from a standpoint of making grapefruit drinkable again. And this one is just it's it's piratey. <laughs> it's, just, it's very like I can I can see myself like on a ship, mm. a pirate ship, you know, ro- robbing and pillaging people with that cocktail in my hand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could actually see myself drinking that and eating a piece of nice dark chocolate. Or chocolate cake, mm-hmm. or some mousse, or what about some yeah. fl- flan? Sh- oh. Sure. I hate flan. <laughs> I don't like flan. Whatever. Uh, all I'm saying but is is, is maybe like a a flourless uh, uh, chocolate something cake. 
flowers. No flowers on that cake. Yeah. What was the? I don't know what the other one. Brule- oh, creme, creme, creme brulee. brulee. Mm. Creme brulee was pretty good. No chocolate. Blonde, not so much. That needs chocolate with it. It's because it's got aphrodisiacs. <laughs> aphrodisiacs. Are you getting like a little bit, you know? Chub. <laughs> <laughs> that in forever. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking of. No. No. All right. I think this is our Sunday Night Shooter episode. Yep. So, one final reminder. If you want to win our Tito's... I'll use the one over here. If you want to win the Tito's Boss and Shaker, or you want to be a runner-up, which means you're the first loser, or the second loser, <laughs> first and second, no, second and third. I know, it's weird. Uh, I have these semi-discolored... Bottles that I weren't wasn't able to sell of Peychaud, so these will be the second they aren't open and, and third. They're not good. open. They're just kind of discolored. So you gotta submit a video of Common Man cocktails in your own impersonation of us or me or Doug. Either way, grow a beard, mash Oreos on your face, <laughs> whatever you need to do, and make a video creating a cocktail in our liking. I mean, you don't have to simulate us, but you know, in, in, in the in tradition a, of common man. In our liking. Right. In our likeness. And you know what? If it's funny, that's even better, because I like I, I, I get, I like funny things. Yeah. You can slap yourself with an orange if you want to. Let's see. Alright. Oh, I smell citrus. We're done! <laughs> EverydayTrinkers.com <laughs> Teach you how to drink. Domingo, Domingo, Domingo! <laughs> Monster truck racing! <laughs> anyway. $15 buys you the seat, but you'll only need the edge. <laughs>